Hello wild people, we're back with Planet Zoo and I look slightly warm. <laughs> Not that that matters. Guys, today we are starting a sandbox mode zoo. So, so far we've only done franchises. The last franchise we did was the Mars Zoo and my game just doesn't want to load it for some reason. So I'm absolutely gutted about that because we were having a great time. Since last month, I have bought all of the expansion packs. All of them. Because I got a bit excited. So, um, yeah, today we're just going to build a zoo together. It's going to be called the Tutti Frutti Zoo. And it's our mission to fill the whole map. So I must choose wisely as to where to build because it's going to make a difference. I think we're going to go... My favourite one is the Grassland Europe. Mm. What's temperate in Europe? Oh no, temperate in Europe. Let's go this. We're going to call it Tutti. Oh no, my cap sock is the wrong way. Tutti Frutti. It's going to be the Tutti Frutti Zoo. With every animal born under that name, we're definitely going to know who it is. So I wanted to kind of... Yeah, I just want to build from scratch. I will be using... Uh, some of the ready-made stuff that comes with the conservation packs because I can't run rubbish at building stuff. But my mission is to fill the entire of this map because I've literally never done that in this game. I kind of get halfway and I'm like, la 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 la. But the issue with that is I don't know why my game suddenly won't load. I have a very powerful computer. Like, I have a really good computer. Um, so I don't know why it's deciding, like, not to load in. So I might have to get my techie friend, Techie Tom, over to come and sort it out. So the theming of this zoo... Don't know. I think if it's tutti frutti, I think it needs to be a little bit nuts. A little bit like... I think we'll start off with like a British feel. Because I'm British. I'm sorry to say. Uh, yeah, and this is going to be fun because it means we can just build little enclosures. Have a nice time. Not have any economic issues. Hopefully. And yeah, just have a nice time. So we need to somehow find a place for... Let's deselect for a second for the staff zones because the staff place is very annoying. I think let's go up the middle here. This is what I seem to do with all my zoos for some reason. Don't ask me why. I do not know why I do this. It's just something I do. So we're going to just build for our first animal. I don't know what the first animal is going to be. I have no idea. I'm going to make it up. But that's the great thing about this is we can... I'm just going to make these go up the side here, actually. Um, line to grid. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Cool. Uh, yeah, we don't have any, like, things stopping us. But I do want all the animals that I have not had yet. So I would like meerkats, penguins, rhinos. I want the lot. So, uh, what am I going to build today? An admin hub. Look at this. How cool is that? Cool. That's actually downloaded from the workshop. So, let's go with classic for now. I do like the classic look, I must admit. I actually like the new world look as well. Mm, I could go new world look. Or I could make stuff myself and not be lazy. Should I do that? On oh, rubbish at building things, though, guys. I'm not very good at it. I just want to build a zoo. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put down very basic stuff, and then I'm gonna build it myself. I think. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go to staff facilities, and let's go keeper hut. Let's go really basic keeper hut. Oh no. So I've got to bear in mind if we keep it on a grid, that would be a great idea. Let's do that. So quarantine. We can get a small quarantine. That's fine. Oh, gosh, they're big, blocky things, aren't they? Uh, let's get a giant staff room. Because they're always moaning at me. Otherwise. Um, let's have a little tiny research centre. Will you not fit? Oh, no, that's a shame. Because we don't really need research centres. in Planet Zoo. Uh, with the staff mode. Because, you know, it's just like... Uh, we just don't need it. Okay, let's go with the staff room, however. We definitely need... I do not know what theming, though. What guy... What, shall, what theming should I go for here? What should I try and build? I could go for a British thing. So I might need to do some research. I might need... Google to be my friend. <laughs> Google, where are you? We don't really need a workshop either. Because it's sandbox mode. We just don't need any of that. Um, okay. I don't know. I don't know. What's this? What's wrong? You must have a... Oh, I don't have a trade centre? Well, that's silly. 
That's the one thing I needed. <laughs> and I didn't put it in. What a... What a... Wally. Okay, let's put path to... Oh dear, that path looks terrible. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I really do not know what I'm going to go for there, but we'll see. It's a tutti fruity, so I think it's going to be a bit of a bonkers zoo. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking Looney Tunes. If I can make something of Looney Tunes. <laughs> That's not the Looney Tunes theme tune. I'm going to make a little enclosure here for something. I'm going to use the wooden fencing. I'm just going to go around here. We are going to, actually, I need to build some path off of here because then we can create shortcuts for our staff because otherwise they're going to moan that they're having to walk too far and all that kind of thing. Yeah, we can, this could be our first, maybe, five-star bull. I can feel the heat radiating off of the computer. It's so hot in the UK right now. I thought it stay on record today, actually. And I'm recording content because I'm nuts. Um, but yeah, so uh, hopefully this will be the first zoo that I ever complete in sandbox mode. Like, I actually have every nook and every cranny full of something, even if it is a tiny bush. I am going to fill it up. Okay, um, oh, I didn't do the three path, because if I do the three path, it just looks a bit smarter. Yeah, there we go. And then, I think the ornate can change, actually, here. I think what we'll do is we'll put in, I don't really know what goes with ornate. Mm. I want to go to crazy pathing, but definitely want a Looney Tunes theme. I love Looney Tunes. Yeah, it reminds me of Universal Studios. There's like a Luna, Looney Tunes bit. Okay, let's go off with just your basic like. Yeah, let's just go off here. That'd be great. Then we could put like another enclosure there. We could kind of make four off of here. But I would, I don't know. I do not know what I'm making. I don't plan stuff. If you want to go watch YouTubers who know what they're doing, then go and watch the lady signer. Is it a singer? Uh, I think it's signer. Could be singer or palsy or somebody else but for me i am just gonna build and be really random because why not we're gonna have lots of planet zoo added to this game now i just want to do planet zoo from now on to be honest i mean we are gonna continue with katniss paul's the sims 4 storyline we've got going storyline it's like an episode of east ends you don't know what east ends is and you're clearly not british um okay let's just double check that path actually reaches over here i'm so hot why has it done that wonky thing? That's really annoying. <laughs> That's going to make me itch. Okay. Oh, well. It's not the end of the world. Let's just go to... Oh. Cool. We have our first enclosure. And I have no idea what we're going to put in it. But this is today's episode. This is episode one of the Tutti Fruity Zoo. So if you're new to the channel and you want to consider subscribing, then please do. We are going to have lots of wild gaming on the go. I hope. I actually have six weeks off now for summer. Unless I have melted by then. Which is a high possibility that I have. Okay. Mm, okay, let's have a look at our animal trading. Now, some of you, one of you guys wanted meerkats. And I want meerkats. Let's see the size of this enclosure. Now, it's 1,300. It's quite a lot. Okay, so let's... Um, oh, I'd love penguins. Oh, no. Facilities without power. This is annoying. Okay, we need to go get some energy in there. Oops, please. Okay, let's build another path around the back with this really strange looking path. Oh, this is annoying. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. It's going to look a little bit messy, which if you guys know what I'm like, I tend to like everything in squares, which I really shouldn't because it's very boring. But we'll get there. Okay, let's go Transformers. Put a transform maybe this side. We'll put a water treatment. Uh, yeah. What can go in the land of Tutti Frutti? What's a bit of a crazy animal to start with? I mean, an aardvark is very strange. Um, I love that we've got all these animals. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. A uh, little arctic fox or an arctic wolf would be cute. I do like the otters, I must admit. I literally love otters. We could have otters to like welcome people in. Let's just check the Zoopedia, see if they can share. <gasps> they can share with so much though. Because we could make like a giant rainforest thing later on. I have visions for it, but you know. Do you know what? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Just going to pick an aardvark. Let's go. Is that really good rhyming, guys? Um. Okay, let's just go with these two. They've got quite a lot of space, but we're going to really fancy pants their enclosure up because I can. 
So I'm going to show you guys how bad I am at designing stuff. Oh no, there's no stuff. I am not with it today. Oh, it's probably something to do with the fact that it's 40 degrees in the UK. Oh, it might be something to do with that. Oh uh, yeah. But guys, if you're here from my Lady Ranger Gamer channel, then thanks for subbing to this too. We're going to have a wild time on here. It's all animals, dinosaurs, ducks, dingoes, dolphins. I don't know anything else. Um, but yeah, so this is a very basic enclosure at the moment. Fox aren't known for like really elaborate stuff. Oh, we could build a mountain in the middle. I don't know how to do this, but we could build a mountain. Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. That's the theme song. Let's build a huge mountain here. It's not really a mountain. It's more like a, a like a, a rut. So my great plan that I just had in my head, because you guys know I literally have a plan. What is going on here? What? It's, I kind of like it though. It's kind of got, uh, it's kind of got Lion King vibes. Let's see if I can accept. Whoa! Look at the mound on that. Okay, Aardvarks do not need that. <laughs> yeah, they really do not need that. That looks terrible. Okay, I kind of like that. I like this. And then what we can do, uh, we need to make sure these guys are happy before they kick off. Yeah, I like this. I've made this by mistake, but I like it. Yeah, I'm having it. It's mine. Right. Okay, God, it's definitely got a bit of Lion King about, about it. Not the when I'm a monkey. Okay, let's go. Man, it's so hard. I need to stop moaning because I can't do anything about it. But man, global warming is terrifying. Yeah, I've kind of put soil up there. I would like sand or deserty vibe up up on here. Maybe sort of a rough sand. That's all like sandy. Yeah, this is cool. Are they? Do they want much sand? Oh, they don't like loads of sand. We can just put soil sort of filtered through it a little bit and a bit of rock. Yeah, like a bit of rock there, you know. Oh, gosh, that's a bit too much rock, I think. Crikey. I can't actually see much. I'm going to alter the zoo hours because sometimes I'm blind as a bat here, I swear. Okay. Ah, there we go. It's just the brightness. Like, you need it, you need it to stay bright, please. Oh, okay, now I can see. Oh, <laughs> that helps. So I'm going to make this rocky. And then, yeah, we'll just sort of put some glass around the bottom. I don't know. And then we could put soil. I'm thinking soil, like, mm, like around there. I was going to do speed builds, guys. But do you know what? I think I've got enough to say. You guys are like, no. Come on, hey, Rangers, stop talking. I'm going to build them a little pool. A pool. A little oasis pool. Uh, just there. On the end of that. Cute. And we could do another little pool maybe back here. I don't know. This could have been a shelter, I believe, if if I'd sort of planned this a bit better. Um, I wonder if I can, like, bring this out so it's more of a... Well, bring it on. This could go horrendously wrong. Okay, let's see if I can just, like, bring this bit out a little bit. Ooh. Okay, we're going to make it a bit thicker. Do you know what I mean? So at least I got, like, a thing to stand on. And then I'm going to push up. Oh, no, this hasn't worked. Has this worked? Ah, I'm glitching in a rock. Okay. I don't know if that has worked. Oh, it's a giant cliff now. Um, okay, we can push it in here and make them a tiny, tiny, tiny. I don't know if that is going to count. I don't know. Let's just smooth this all off. And then, can I, like, smooth this all off? I don't really know. Will that count? Is that going to be enough? Probably not. Yeah, if you guys are looking for... Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, I quite like the hole through it as well. Makes a... It's got a Grand Canyon vibe. Let's just undo that. Though. Ooh, there's a little hole in there. Oh, I'll just uh, smooth that off then. Oh, no. No, wait. Guys, help. Oh, help. Okay, let's just press undo. Slow down. Boop. Okay. Yeah, so I think that looks cool. Uh, it gives them a bit of privacy as well. It's kind of got, like canyon vibes in my own crazy mind that I have and then I'll try and pull this oh, oh no look at this this is hilarious hilarious yeah it's right we've got that and then let's just go up 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 oh no it was going so well oh no I need to like pull it round any advice guys help yeah I'll just pull this round here oh it's working Hey, I'm getting a curve. It's a big curve, but it'll it'll do. Oh, you can push upwards, can't you? 
Oh, no, that's not a good idea. I kind of like that, though. It's created like a weird tunnel for them. It doesn't look too bad. I wanted to turn that into like a hidey hole for them. Okay, well, let's just see if we can like... Oh, no, that's not a good idea. Let's smooth this off a little bit. Ooh, just going to get rid of that intensity a bit so it's just a little less traumatic. Okay, I don't want to smooth that off anymore. I kind of want to... Oh, this could be dangerous, guys. Ooh, maybe that's working. Ooh, maybe this is actually working. I have never gamed before and been sweating from it. Sorry, guys, you don't need to know any of that. Right, does that... Oh, that's actually worked! <gasps> so they do have... A... They actually have a little den now. I've done this complete by mistake. <gasps> and there's no hole the other side? Have I actually done this? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, just... I'll do... Okay, let's leave that. Move it off a little bit so they can get inside. That's really cool. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. I mean, it's... It's strange looking, but... We could actually flatten this all off. Um, it's because I kind of like... That being the main feature. We'll just make it a little bit hilly there. Do you know what I mean? Let's do that instead. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's let's just check the ground a second. Make sure I've put the right terrain in. I'd like the terrain there, but I just... I think on the top here we need like something a bit drier. Yeah, like that, like that. Cool, then we'll get some long grass. Maybe put some long grass at the back here. Mm. Okay, well, they got long grass. Maybe some short grass. I don't know. Ruin that little path a bit. Ruin this. Cool. Okay, we need a. Okay, if I press play. Oh, it does. It's only done 73% for their hard shelter. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. How can I make this better? I don't know if that's the best idea I've ever had. Ooh. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if that has solved it. I don't know. Let's press play and see. Oh, it's given us 10% more. Okay, um, aardvox, I mean, that'd be fine. We can always put in a little thing for the aardvox as well. You know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Just hoping there's no hole going to be made at the top. Pushing, oh, see, I was pushing my luck. Okay, right, let's go over to, as we can, yeah, we can get them. Oh, 100%, lovely. Okay, I mean, it's not the best looking thing I've ever made. And I, but I'm happy with it. Is that sad? Probably. Right, so we've got Africa. We have the other two things selected. Okay, let's put some rocks in. Put some rocks in. I'll put mossy rocks. Who doesn't want mossy rocks? Can I do this at the same time? Okay. We'll put some little ones in. Gonna build a mountain that's gonna be stuck in my head. I don't like those ones so much. Let's just put in. Okay, so rocks don't look great until you put all the other stuff in with them. So let's put some. Oh, I want desert for these guys, I think. Oh, oh it's Africa, so grass and tropical. Oh, I see. Um. Okay, well, let's go savanna. Oh, tropical. I do like tropical. I like the look of tropical. Yeah, let's go with the look of tropical. So we could just put in some rocks all along here, make it just look a bit like, I don't know, a bit more natural. I'm going to try. I'm not the best at this. Like, some people, what they make on here is unreal. Like, I don't know how, I honestly, I don't know how people make stuff like that. I'm a very normal in the terms of creativity. I'm going to build a massive, maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe I could, like, I'm going to build kind of a rock like a, yeah, because I kind of wanted like a Stonehenge thing. Oh, that's such a great idea. What I'm going to do, I made Stonehenge. Oh my gosh, I'm going to make Stonehenge. So I actually live near Zo Stonehenge. If you guys don't know what Stonehenge is, then definitely Google it. Okay, then that's great. And then I just want... Oh, poo. Okay, just want to like... Move it like this. Like that. And then I want to go advanced mode and I want to go up. Yeah. Woohoo. Okay, let's. Oh, there's me thinking I just cracked that. So I'm going to make Stonehenge. Yep, that's my great plan. I just suddenly thought of it. As you guys know, I don't plan stuff. So if you're wanting somebody who like plans everything, probably not the person for you. It's like a dating. Like we're dating or something. 
Okay. Um, I don't know what to do right now. Oh, there we go. And I still need to twist you so you're all on angle. Hey. Bit of a Stonehenge thing on the go. Yeah, Stonehenge is one of the many wonders of the world. And it's it's very impressive. Uh, they're huge great big rocks. They look kind of like this. I mean, kind of. <laughs> a bit more impressive than this. And, um, oh no, what have I done? That's okay. And then we want to kind of get the blue one. Yeah, I'm just going to... Oh no, what have I done? Okay, there we go. And then we want to go advanced mode again. And we want to go up here like this. Uh, probably a little bit lower. Try and change the levels up a little bit. Okay, I've tried to make... That hasn't worked. Hang on, let's move you... Yeah, let's move you this way. Great! Oh, that's great! Look at that! So it's kind of like a little sort of worshipping... That's the word. Worshipping area i suppose i actually sung at a wedding um it was brilliant brilliant wedding and it was like in like if you wick is anybody wiccan here yeah it was like a wiccan wedding it's really cool really really cool one of the best weddings i've ever done actually i sung for them anyway it was all it's all to do with stonehenge and the ley lines and stuff like that it was very cool uh let's go up through here okay i made stonehenge for the advox the art box do not know how lucky that is. It's a really rubbish Stonehenge, might I add. So normally they'd have like stones on top as well. Like they'd have like T-shapes. Yeah, they're really clever. So, yeah. They're like, yeah, just great stuff. Okay, um, let's get some plants in there. I love doing this. I li This is the one of my favorite thing about Planet Zoo is just making things. Right, have we got enough rocks? Do you guys think we've got enough rocks? Am I going mad with rocks? Probably. We need rocks here. I think we can make like a little cave entrance. I'm pretty sure you use a bigger rock here. Like you? Yeah, you're nice. You're a nice rock. You will do. Oh, that weather's gone again. I can't say any bug. Uh, that's, that, is this too big? Yeah, that's going to be silly. Oh. Um, I think that's silly as well. This one might be alright if it like sort of levels out. Yeah, that's actually... Mm, has it worked okay? I don't know. We put the little ones in here, like little layers. That's what we need. Little layers. Where are little layers? Oh, okay. Hmm. It just makes it look a little bit more... Like... I don't know. Natural? Natural the word. Is that affecting my house? No, it's not. That's good. Just put this like rock line all in across here. It actually looks alright, doesn't it? I like it. So it looks like we're on sort of, there are sort of cliffs and things, you know? Yeah? Does that make sense? So normally the aardvarks, I'd make them a deserty type thing, but we're going to go for tropical. Because they can have tropical, so that's good. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think that makes it look less bland. Maybe we need, like, another big one down here. Yeah. What if we could get dinosaur fossils? Put dinosaur fossils in. <laughs> that would be silly. The old Zoo Tycoon series, they did actually have dinosaurs. <laughs> Maybe we'd do that with Planet Zoo eventually. Maybe they'll do it. You never know. Man, it's hot. Okay, let's have a look. See what trees and stuff like that. So the olive tree's beautiful. I think let's go with just tropical then if we're going down that line. We do want to try and fancy pants up all the bits for the people as well. You know, when the people are looking. So just around the water hole, we're going to put in little bits of plantage. Try and get like a bit of a feel for... Oh, a mangrove. Yeah, let's put a mangrove in. Mangroves always look really nice. Love these little custard trees as well. These elephant ear, whatever they are, they're called, they just make the place look <laughs> like a jungle. They're brilliant. I'll just put some extra little plants in. Yeah, we'll put a little lotus bloom in. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I like it. Oh, it's just annoying. They don't. They can't actually have like too much forage, which is a little bit annoying. I made a stonehenge. Enclosure for our aardvarks. Oh no. What have I done? We'll just keep putting. Ah! Just 
could keep putting these elephant airy things in and plants and all that kind of thing so it's kind of like an overgrown hidden what was once Stonehenge but it is now deserted and forever gone yeah great and it's all lost to the, to the mangroves du -du 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 -du. find me up Hollywood oh what's a big bush look at that oh I quite like that proper jungly look at this that is one jungly looking bush hmm, where should I put that like that yeah that looks cool I like this bush I need to be careful saying this okay yeah that's really nice um let's see what other things we've got we do have more mangroves the mangroves do do make the place look really nice they sort of fill out i'm just watching that coverage because the coverage fills up really quick and I'd, I'd rather actually a lot of these little ones they just they kind of look nicer i think if you can like fancy pants them up a bit the tamarind tree is lovely as well there's all these little ones that i still haven't put in yeah we could decorate our stonehenge rocks Put a random tamarind tree. Where have I put tamarind tree? It's a bit like, hmm. If I put in a giant tamarind tree, it's going to use the rest of that coverage up. So that's annoying because that would look really, that actually look really pretty there. But we don't really have space for it. That's really annoying. Okay, let's put that fun there. Let's put, let's put that there. It's like a little trail of bushes. Okay, we're really close to like filling up now. That's annoying. Ooh, can I put a vine on this? Or does that look silly? It's like, yeah, I think that looks a bit daft. Okay, let's put vines on this though. That does look, that looks all right. Looks a bit strange, but it, it will be fine. As long as they can still get in. Probably need uh, stuff for them actually. Let's just go species. Let's go aardvark. Literally, it's so hot guys. My computer is like struggling. Which is not good. Oh no, where am I going to put this big big thing ah uh, okay we'll have to put it there and just sacrifice the hill that we have bye hill cool uh let's get in a fruit tray put a big fruit tray there that's lovely and we'll put in like some toys and things for them which is always really cool about the aardvarks put in barrels they get a little rub oh the little rubber duck look it actually floats oh it's blue this one i'm gonna wait for it it's gonna float Whee! there it goes makes me very happy I know it's very sad. I need to get life. I don't care. I'm having a nice time. <laughs> okay. Put that there for them. I think they have enough, but put a sprinkler there. We'll put in a termite mound. <gasps> we could put a termite mound right in the middle. That'd be kind of cute. I think that's it. I think we're good. We have a slow, natural slow feeder thingy. And I think that is the aardvark enclosure, but we've kind of done a tropical one which is nice let's just check that they're okay though start with oh nutrition's not great um to get your nutrition up you just go to can't remember how you did this click on the fence get animals aardvark food quality three okay look now we have so many people but we need to give them the tropical vibe so i'm thinking palm trees everywhere i love palm trees they make everything just look good might need to move that one a little bit. Just make it look a bit junglier. I don't know if junglier is a word, but I like it. Let's just, yeah, let's put you in the bushes a bit more. Cool. Yeah, because what we can do is like fancy pants all this up. We can kind of, we probably could make like a bit of a shelter for these people as well, you know. I hope my computer doesn't like blow up because it's so hot, you know put in another little bush thing here I hope it doesn't count towards they might get really savage now I don't know have you got too much now oh, okay it didn't count that's good sometimes when you put them outside of the enclosures it does count so we need to put in all the information you know like education stuff like that oh that's a nice bench okay. education bit is going to be round here out the way because otherwise it's it gets so clogged I think I'm gonna pause the game. I'm gonna sort all this out. I'm gonna put all the boring stuff in. I know I shouldn't make it boring. I think it is boring. Okay. So we will put an education board there. We'll put speakers here. We'll put a conservation board in. And then we can like hopefully jungleify that. That'd be good. 
So what we'll do is spread our wings and we'll put in this repair of the ozone layer. Yeah, we need that. We need that more than ever. It's seriously worrying. You know, we're in the UK, we're at 40 degrees. Can't imagine what you guys are like over the rest of the world. You know, Europe, Italy, places like that. Like, honestly, mad, isn't it? Terrifying, really. Speaker there, I'm going to put a speaker there. And then I'm going to put some conservation boards like everywhere. We need to repair our ozone layer. But, how? We need to stop driving? I don't know. Crazy, isn't it, guys? Climate change, climate change. It sucks. But nobody wants to do anything about it. Because they're having a nice time. Until everybody melts. I should write a song. That's what I should do. I just need seats now. I'm just going to do all this. We could fancy it up, try and give it a tropical theme and then maybe actually we'll end up doing sort of tropical zoo give three seats one two three I do like three seats around that. that's quite nice actually and then i'm gonna create a little mini path out of there oh it's really annoying me that that does not line up this is why i always use a line to grid oh this is okay I'll go with that one okay it kind of hurts me a little bit but that's fine and then Let's go to nature again. We could put some more rocks in and stuff like that. Maybe put in... Oh, we could... In this corner here, we could put, like, a little... A little, uh... Rainforest bit, you know? Oh, look at the matching palm trees. I think that looks really nice. Anybody got palm trees in their garden, actually? Very jealous if you do. I want palm trees. But I'm terrible at gardening. Gardening. People know just not to... Not to bother... I'm going to put a path sort of off of here, I think, and then I'll mm, do like a jungle themed corner there, maybe. Yeah, so this is the seating for when they have talks on the animals. The aardvark do tend to be quite popular, so we're starting off with aardvark today, but we have scope to just go on and on and on um, until next time. So what do you guys want to see in the next episode? Like, Just let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to add all this. Can they see through there or not? I don't know if they can. Can you guys see? Oh, they can't see through that. They can't see through the plants. It's very clever that they can't see through the plants. Um, sausage tree. Ooh, that's cool, that thing. Yeah, I just want to rainforest this up a little bit so it looks like we're in the rainforest. That would be great. Like All through here, we could get some form of plant. What's going to fit there? Let's put in like a range of stuff. Let's put in like little ferns and stuff like that yeah quite nice oh yeah this little one's really cute it's the finer finer little details in stuff like this that really make it i'd love to know what it felt like to be cool again i'm never going to complain that the winter is cold ever again this is really nice this is cute okay we definitely do something at the back here we could put some like actual plant oh oh didn't i just sort the times out this is very annoying come on you should be doing maybe it's the morning oh, there we go. cool <laughs> well he's really enjoying it that man whoever whoever he is uh yeah okay so we've got some aardvarks here so there's only two you can only fit two in annoyingly but yeah what can we do to make it more rainforesty here we could just put like actual rainforest trees all here but i think that's a bit, a bit daft isn't it so what i could do is get rid of this path here mm. my eyes are my, my brain is going now so what i'll do i'll get rid of these two paths here and then just just to make it look more rainforesty i'm gonna get some rocks yeah i'm gonna get this sausage rock i'm gonna do i'm gonna fill oh I'm going to fill the place up with little bits and bobs just to... Ah, this thing is wild. Just to make it look... Oh, this, this does not want to be placed nice. Okay, let's put this here. Let's put this here. And here. And let's put this here. And here. Nice. And then I kind of want to do the same again over here. And I know you can, like, 
duplicate stuff so you build quicker, but it's not the way I'm programmed. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But I love Planet Zoo, and do you know what? I'm just going to play a lot of this on this channel because I just, I absolutely love it. And quite frankly, it's all I want to do, so let's do it. All I'm going to do is build a big rock. That's almost too big. And I'm going to build stuff on here. Make it look nice. Put layers in. Mm, like this. Kind of layer it up a little bit. <laughs> be cool actually if we could build like a big rock. <gasps> we could build a big rock arch. That is extreme, but I think we could do that. <gasps> I think that would look really nice if we could build a big rock arch. Okay, I'm gonna build a big rock arch. My brain is spinning. I'm gonna have so much fun doing this. I mean, I didn't know aardvarks were this majestic, but they deserve it. And then we can have a big statue of an aardvark. If they have them. I'm definitely not making that. Ooh, what is going on here? Sorry, guys. The windows are all open, so you will hear, like, next door's dogs and stuff like that. I mean, it looks terrible, but I kind of like it at the same time. We'll just create layers. So what you can do with this is you can add different rocks to kind of make it not look quite so artificial. I don't want that one in there, I want this one. Yeah, so you can like layer them all up so they just look really nice. So like, uh, so like, <laughs> trying to do an example of this. This is not working, yeah, like kind of, mm, that's actually a bit rubbish. It looks like that is balancing only just. Let's try and just put some more rockers, rockers in here. We could go underneath, put rocks in underneath. Just make it look a little bit more authentic. I can't actually see much. I feel like the light is rubbish. Okay, cool. And then what we'll do is we will make... We will create the safari. Oh, we could put in straggler doodahs. Yeah, all under here. That would actually look pretty cool. can't see anything. It's doing my head in. All right, let's see what the top time of day is. Right. Okay, sorry. This, the, this zoo's like never going to be open at this rate. Okay, so we're gonna press L for light because this is annoying. Okay, like this stuff, this curtain is tiny. I don't need that. So we could put things in like. Ooh, put it... oh man, so fiddly, so fiddly for such a hot day. Let's see if I can just move this slightly so it actually fits. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, it's kind of hovering in midair at the moment. Oh, let's hang it on this one instead. Do that. Like that? Is it even... Is it attached? I don't know if it is. Well, let's move this one as well. Oh, man. It's going to go up. And then... Is there a gap? Oh, this kind of... It nearly fits. I feel like we're very close there. Kind of. It's kind, kind of what I was after. Do you guys know what's kind of after there? A bit like the Pandora world in Animal Kingdom. <laughs> That's kind of what I was after, but it didn't work. Oh, it's a what's this? A fallen mossy tree. Oh, cool. We'll put one of those like there. That's kind of cool. We'll put one of those like maybe here as well. We can start creating, really creating the imagery that I want. So we can put level straggler i don't even know what these things are but they're they remind me of hands actually i don't, I don't know whether i like that but yeah we'll build it all this side as well they can have more of the straggler roots oh like this one look how gross that is okay let's have a look cool yeah i kind of like that oh yeah, we'll just create this Nah, it's not the best thing I've ever made, but they look a bit, like, rough. <laughs> I've enjoyed myself making it. And we need bushes down here. Maybe not quite such a big bush. Kind of make this a bit more animal -y, do you know what I mean? This will be cool. Okay, let's just do this. And then try and put in extra plants, really. Try and make this... Straggler won't fit there, will it? I think that'd be daft to put a straggler there, but I think it also would look quite nice. With, mm, tamarind. Tamarind tree actually would look lush. It doesn't quite fit. I do want to do like a another jungly a jungly jungle exhibit as well. 
Okay, let's just put ferns in everywhere and just hope and pray that something works. Yeah, I'll put tamarind trees at the back here. That'd be fine. Do I have any other bush? I have a sausage tree. Sausage trees look great. Let's just have a look and see what other things we've got. Oh, mangrove. Mangrove always looks a bit wild. That's good. I feel like the mangrove would mangrove would growth these true things as well. Oh, it's so hot. It's hotter than the sun in the UK today. Feels like I'm in a sauna. Oh, I forgot to add all these little ones. Well, that makes sense, Lady Ranger, for goodness sake. You are so dopey today. Let me off, guys. It's hot. Yeah, I'm just going to add all these little bits and bobs in. Try and make it actually look half decent. Make it look like a proper forest. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. That's a bit empty there. Let's fill that up with something good. Mm. More palm trees, maybe? A custard tree? Yeah, so it's proper Jurassic Park here. <laughs> okay, it's a bit strange on top. I would like to sort those rocks out. I'm not going to lie. Try and make them a bit less pokey. You guys know what I mean. I need you to go flat, mate. Mm, don't even like that. Uh, okay. What can we use? Bigger. Ah, like you. Yes, that's a good one. That is a very good one to use. And it's nice because the game will sort of like fit the rocks themselves. It's very clever. Very clever. Okay, so so far we have an aardvark and a big rock arch. <laughs> oh, Lord. Who's in it for the long run? Who's got faith in me that we are going to finish the zoo? I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Um, it's got to be a whole zoo. So I'm hoping the game doesn't like do what it's done with the other, you know, the computer hasn't done, you know, it just wouldn't load, you know, that, that uh, franchise we were doing. There's that franchise, but then I've had a bigger franchise. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know why I just didn't like that one anymore. Okay, that's it for today for now. I'm going to probably put in more plants and stuff all around here i'd like a big rock i'd like a big cave at the back here as well somehow so people can sit enjoy stuff but yeah any suggestions for the next episode then let me know in the comment section below but look at that beautiful archway i'm actually pretty chuffed with that but you can add stuff in the co construction like statues and things like that so I, I mean is it a bit dramatic if i put an aardvark statue at the top Wait, is there even an aardvark statue i don't really know what is that oh i love it uh let's go a r d v a r k isn't it is that how you spell it a d v a r oh there's no aardvark there's loads of other stuff which is cool which is nice to see actually there's lots of other animal sculptures that we can use throughout the park as well so that's gonna be nice i would like to put like Oh, I'd like to put the temple thing in there. That looks really cool. That actually looks really cool. Can I fit you in anywhere else? Oh, it's annoying if I can't. What about this side? Oh, I can fit you in. Yes, I can fit you in there somewhere. Okay, let's just fit you in there. Oh, no, he looks a bit squished. Yeah, he can, he can be in there hiding. I like that. Cool. Well, thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you've enjoyed that, please consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and have a wild rest of your day. Bye.